overtime. Oh, Chief, babe, babe. Chief. The judge is already telling me the rundown for outnumbered. <laughs> judge Alex Ferreira is here from Florida. On the rare occasion that he does not bring precip in the, in the form of rain and snow, usually. From it's Florida. Part, it's part of the wonderfulness of me. Yeah, you show up. You're like the, the <laughs> heat Grim miser. Of Remember those things? It's <laughs> only joy. in reverse. All right, I want to go straight to the live chat because there are a lot of people on it right now. And I'm just going to read them. I'm going to read what you only, guys are Only posting. good things, please. Uh, I'm just going to read them. <laughs> C-T-A-E. I don't know what that is. Cite. What bothers me and what is scary about this election year is that the media treats this like it's a game and they are the scorekeeper. Phrases like who and what will Donald uh, Trump think of next? Can't wait. Record turnouts. This is a ratings frenzy. That is great for the media, but sucks for us because at the end of the day, we Language. get screwed as always. Wow. Paraphrase. No, that was a direct quote. <laughs> um, I th you know what? I'm hearing a lot of people say this. Yeah, I think they, that's they a feel great like point. The, the policies and the issues. Yes, we call them wonky, but that's what they vote on, actually. I think it's a great point that the, how the media is turning this into a, like a ping pong match. Or, but we're you know, in it. You know, yeah. And, they, and, you know, I never underestimate the intelligence of the voter or the viewer out there because they do want to know what are the nuts and bolts of these trade deals that have annihilated cities you like think Baltimore they do? and Kennedy, Detroit. Kennedy, I think you they do. puzzled. Mm -hmm. Do you think? I think some people do much, much later. And I think uh, a majority mm. of uh, people who watch shows like this have a much larger window for acquiring important information that will actually affect their lives. What do you oh. mean shows like this? What do you mean by that? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's a new it's show. show. We're, we're, we're show like that's what she means. Yeah, people are, are, are getting I evidence teasing you. for the cases that the various uh, candidates are making, but there are plenty of people who aren't going to tune in until Halloween. And then yeah. they'll be like, oh, wait a second, what does Donald Trump really think? That's great. I'm right. going to go vote. Oh, speaking of which, what are you going for as Halloween? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a little early for that, too. <laughs> Last year, I was Queen uh, of a Dollar. Don't all right, so um, <laughs> let's see. For the judge, Alex, uh, Alex <laughs> Governor McAuliffe signed an executive order allowing felons to vote in the state of Virginia. Aside from the obvious push to garner votes for Hillary, is the executive order legal? Uh, probably not if there's an existing law in the state of Virginia that prohibits them from voting. Is that state by um, state? I, you know, I don't know. That's the first time I've really had to consider whether that was a yeah. national question or state question. I'm wondering if, if it's e a federal crime, way, if, if you're convicted of a, a federal if you're, if felony. Yeah, a federal felony would be, conduct, com, uh, would be handled by federal law, but, yeah. but I'm just not sure if it's a state by state. I think it is a state by state decision. And if the legislature has, has spoken on the issue and he does it by executive order, then that's, that is a separation of powers problem. And, and you know, I, I understand the argument of allowing felons to vote, but I, I would say you restrict it to felons who, number one, haven't committed serious felonies. I mean, I understand the guy was possession of drugs or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and number two, not somebody who's made a career of being a felon. Yeah. You know, if, it, if it's if people make mistakes, they shouldn't wipe out their rights for the rest of their life unless it's murder, rape, armed robbery, you know, something of that level. But uh, but if somebody is a career criminal, what do you really want them deciding who your judges you are going to be? If you let them vote, does it reduce the recidiv recidivism rate? In other words, they become members of society active, willing members of society instead of Ms. I, I, I don't think there's any particular study on, on I'm curious whether, about that. Yeah, you know on whether I mean? they, that yeah. affects the recidivism rate or not. Right. You know what? Okay. I want to get this in here. We had a discussion on campus, uh, a school campus, where Black Lives Matter students uh, wanted to, to destroy the 9-11 police officers display, so they took that down. And how the campus responded to that, the campus authorities responded to that, was much slower than when the Black Lives Matters display was disturbed and vandalized. Estenard says on the live chat. Oh, Westenard. I, I cannot take Black Lives Matter seriously until they start working in black communities to end the loss of black lives. Yeah, and what were they and quit blaming policemen for black men committing mm -hmm. crimes and needing to be arrested. Now, you are a former police officer sure. and we know that there are documented cases where police were at fault. Absolutely. So so we're not we're not even going to begin to argue that. But what this is talking about as I understand it is it has kind of a good point. I mean, Black Lives Matter, why not start in the black communities? Places like your home city of Chicago, yeah. where you have so mm. many murders in the black community true. every weekend. Yeah, that's one of the major criticisms. But I, I, I think you attack it everywhere, I, wherever it's happening, good whether point. it's a black community or not. You should. The, the, uh, what really sickens me about college administrators is after they tore down the posters, yeah. they stood guard to prevent it from being reposted. Wow. And the college administrators didn't do anything about that. Wow. I mean, I, I would have gone down there and said, OK, let's 
let's get the identification of everybody here who is interfering and who tore the posters down, who's standing guard. They're going to be expelled. And by the way, if we find out who the ones were that did it to the Black Lives Matter mm -hmm. posters, they're going to be expelled too. I mean, you know, that's when you start getting a reaction where people go like, okay, I, I, I disagree with that poster, but I'm not going to get expelled over it. Mm -hmm. You know, instead, they let people run rampant mm. in a place that's really supposed to be for education. In areas they, they agree with right. implicitly. Right. Uh, Joseph Stanelli, a lot of people get their news from Facebook. Why? When they can get both sides from Fox News, and that's the truth. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Judge, for coming up. Thank you for having from me. From Florida, bringing us some good sunshine. Good to see you. We'll see you back at noon Eastern on the Fox News Channel with Outnumbered.